Ferrari is planning to run Sebastian Vettel's gearbox from the Malaysia Grand Prix in FP3 in Japan before making a final assessment on its performance ahead of qualifying. Reports from Sky Sports Italy indicate Ferrari's initial inspection of the gearbox revealed no critical damage after Vettel was involved in a bizarre cool-down lap crash with Lance Stroll's Williams which wrecked the left rear suspension of the German's car. Immediate fears for Ferrari turned to Vettel's gearbox, which HASNT completed the mandatory six races and would incur a five-place grid penalty if he required a new one. Ferrari had its request to the FIA rejected to waiver any penalty as the incident happened post-race and Vettel must use the gearbox for the remaining races. Vettel admitted he was bracing for another bad surprise after the collision which leaves Ferrari in the position of risking the gearbox during a race and a potential race retirement, or take a hit with a five-place grid penalty for a fresh gearbox. The four-time F1 world champion had led the point standings until the Italian Grand Prix but due to his first lap crash in Singapore coupled with his fourth place in Malaysia having started last due to an engine issue in qualifying he now trails Lewis Hamilton by 34 points with five races remaining. Frustrations continue to build for Vettel who looked the strong favorite for victory in Singapore and Malaysia having demonstrated superior race pace, while Mercedes endures a difficult patch of form, which could be compounded if he is forced into taking a grid penalty for a bizarre incident. While on the cool-down lap after the race at the Sepping International Circuit, Vettel and Stroll appeared to lose track of each other while picking up tire rubber and collided. Stroll's Williams appeared to pick up minimal damage but the Ferrari sustained a broken left rear suspension which forced Vettel to hitch a lift back to the pits on top of Pascal where lines Sauber. Official confirmation of Vettel's gearbox is expected after FP3 for the Japanese Grand Prix where Ferrari will use the 60-minute session to test the car before qualifying.